So this is the next step in carrying stuff at our highway, um, especially up and over that hill. Just the front front cover. And this some reflectors. They'll fit it. is not that easy to roll stuff around on and so I wanted I want something with larger wheels and that's when it hit me like hey what about a garden cart you know like the old style garden cart it's like what about an old style garden cart let's try this you know Just kind of reluctant to buy anything that's powered because like the new one, new stuff is just ridiculously priced I'm not paying ten thousand dollars for a four-wheeler and then the used stuff is either overpriced because somebody thinks it's worth that much or it's reasonably priced but it's time to pick up Brendan it's either reasonably or it's reasonably priced, but it looks like crap, and I, I don't know if it's going to last. Um, how much life is left in it, even though the person says, oh, it runs great. And then you go over there, and it's hard to start. Because I think a four-wheel would do great, it's just I don't want to spend the money on
Yeah, I like that this opens up easier because I, I could put everything in here. And then dump. Dump, like if I'm hauling dirt or something. Just trying out the the wagon, uh, the garden cart in the house just for now. And this uh, Christmas stuff, there's probably about 40 pounds maybe in there, 35, 40 pounds. And this is this just feels so light. Oh, I love uh, physics. This is gonna be so nice going up that hill. I need to, uh, I need to pump up the tires just a little bit. Can you see them? Mm hmm. Yeah, so this is uh, going into our hideaway tomorrow. Um, him included. Maybe not the blanket and pillows, but he's tonight he's going to use it as a bed. He said he wants to sleep in here tonight. This will so. be the camper. This is his little camper. Maybe we can find a top for it one day. And, yeah. I want to build on the top floor. I want to build one day a roof. You gonna build a roof for it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. At least he's not sleeping in our bed tonight. <laughs> Great, great encamped in here. He slept in there for a while. Um, today we're gonna bring this to our hideaway. But I just noticed that this is made in pride with the in the USA. Tipkey Manufacturing, Spokane, Washington. And it has US patents and everything. So wow, I, I thought it was made in China. I mean, everything made in China today. I'm glad to see something made in the USA. But I didn't lubricate the uh, the wheels. It's just a bushing. It's a like a some kind of plastic, probably Delrin or something. Bushing it looks like. So, and they send some super lube. Like it looks like just a silicon lubricant. Nothing too fancy. Um, I have to lube this. Little lube on there. Do this and pump up the tires. Because yesterday when I put it together, I just put it together. I didn't read any instructions. What are you doing? This is a bike wheel. It's a big bike wheel. This thing is ready to go. Ready to go? Yep. Right, load this up now. If I could ever get it out the door. I keep it through the door. This is how I'm doing grocery. I need to bring this back home to where I can do groceries with this. 
especially those big 25 or 50 pound bags of rice that you get.